All right, in this lesson, what we're going to be doing is looking at optimization problems uh, with a specific focus on area problems. Um, optimization is to maximize or minimize a specific characteristic. Um, in this particular case, we're going to be looking at how to optimize area or to be more specific, to maximize the area given certain constraints. Um, the word maximize or minimize um, indicates to us that what we're actually doing is looking for graphically the vertex because the vertex is at the top or the bottom of the quadratic function. It is either, either the maximum or the minimum point. Um, let's look at a particular problem and how we can solve it uh, using <coughs> quadratic functions. Uh, in this first example it says three adjacent holding pens are being built with a total of 120 meters of fencing what overall dimensions will maximize the area? What is the maximum overall area? We can use quadratic functions to do this. Uh, before we do that, let me explain a theoretical model. Uh, for example, if I chose um, to make all of these widths of fencing 10 meters, uh, then that would leave me with 80 meters of fencing remaining. So these two lengths would be 40 meters in total. Uh, this area of the total enclosure would be 10 times 40 would be 400 meters squared. Our goal in this problem is to use quadratic functions uh, to create a maximum area uh, for these pens with 120 meters of fencing. Uh, so before we do that, let's create a quadratic function. Uh, as we can see, uh, algebraically speaking, uh, we have four widths of fencing or lengths depending on uh, which way you view it and two lengths of fencing. Uh, the two relationships that we need to investigate to do this are that area is equal to length times width and the relationship of the total fencing. In this case it is that four widths plus two lengths is equal to 120 meters. What we're going to do now to create our quadratic function is isolate a variable. Uh, in this case, I'm going to decide to isolate the length because it will leave me with no fractions. Uh, so let's go ahead and do that. We have that two lengths is equal to 120 minus four widths. So a length is equal to 60 minus two widths. To create our quadratic function, we substitute this expression for length into uh, the formula for area. So we're left with area is equal to uh, 60 minus 2 widths times widths. Uh, let's put this into standard form by simplifying. So we have area is equal to uh, 60 widths minus 2 widths squared or in standard form negative 2 widths plus 60 widths. Now that's our quadratic function that represents the relationship between area and width. Uh, to discover a maximum area or a maximum uh, dimension for that area, what we need to do is know where the vertex of this particular problem lies. And in order to find the vertex, we need to complete the square. So let me do that here. Uh, we've looked at completing the square previously. Uh, we are going to be adding and subtracting half of 30 squared, which is 225, and then removing that negative term from uh, the bracketed factor. So we're left with a completed square of area is equal to negative 2 times w minus 15 squared plus 450. Now if we think graphically speaking, uh, we have our axes and our particular axes in this case are, instead of an x and a y axis, uh, our axes are an a axis replacing the y axis and a w axis or width replacing the uh, x axis. Our vertex in this particular case is the point 15 and 450. 
as we can see uh, from the vertex form. So this is the point 15 and 450. 15 representing width, 450 representing area. Uh, we also know that this particular function opens down. Right, in answer to our question, the question was, what overall dimensions will maximize the area? Well, dimensions are length and width. Well, guess what? We have the maximum or the dimension for the width that will maximize the area at the vertex, and that's 15. Uh, so in answer to that question, uh, the width will be 15 meters. In order to discover the length, we're going to use uh, this expression here and substitute the width. So we have 60 minus 2 widths. The length will be 60 minus 2 times 15, which will get us a length of 30 meters. And finally, in answer to the last question, what is the maximum overall area? Uh, the maximum overall area is, as we can see again from the vertex, 450 meters squared. And it shouldn't shock you that if I put these onto uh, the diagram, if our widths are all 15 meters and our lengths are 30 meters, that what we will have is we've used 120 meters of fencing with an overall area of 450 meters squared. That is the largest enclosure that can be made with that fencing. Uh, in our second problem, I'm just going to come up with uh, the quadratic function, or we're going to come up with the quadratic function and not solve it. Uh, to solve it, it's much like uh, example number one. Uh, this problem says two adjacent fenced-in areas are being placed against a long building. Write a function to model the area of the total enclosure in terms of its width if 150 meters of fencing is used. Uh, the only difference between this particular problem is because it is beside a building, we only need one length of fencing. We have three widths and one length. Uh, the relationship, the formula that we're going to use here is area equals length times width. And the relationship between the lengths and the widths is that one length plus three widths is equal to 150 meters of fencing. And if we isolate, uh, the length will be left with length is equal to 150 minus three widths. And when we substitute that expression for length into the area formula, we're left with a quadratic function of area is equal to 150 minus 3 widths times width. And to put this into standard form, we would have area is equal to 150 widths minus 3 widths squared, and then re-sorting. Um, that is our quadratic function to represent the relationship between area and width. If we were asked to solve for maximum or minimum problems, uh, what we'd have to do is then complete the square so we could find the vertex, which would indicate the maximum width and area of this particular problem.